Hello and welcome. My name is Gerd and I will walk you through this tutorial. This session is about how the CI Hub add-in simplifies your tasks in Microsoft Office applications when you're connected to a DAM or cloud storage such as Dropbox, OneDrive, SharePoint or Google Drive. I will cover PowerPoint, Word, Excel and Outlook. So let's start with PowerPoint. I launch the add-on with a click on the CI Hub icon and I'm already connected to various systems and I want to add my company's Dropbox. The add-in allows you to save your connections or load your saved connections protected by a password. But let's go with Dropbox first. I browse my folders to open a PowerPoint doc, but you can also use the full text search to find your documents or images. Now this is a simple PowerPoint with four slides in it with some placeholders for images and text. When I'm in my products folder, I just drag an image to the stage. The image is automatically placed. The order of the image placeholders is defined in the PowerPoint template. Now let's add some text. Just select the target frame and move the metadata field in the CI Hub add-in. The formatting works perfect and it takes seconds to fill the slide with content. Well, I like that. If everything in life would be so easy. So let's check another example with different formatting. It works the same way. And that means that your content is always application independent. You can use this content in Office 365 applications, in Adobe Cloud applications, or in Google Workspace apps. So let's use a DAM system for the next slide. Just switch the connection and do a full text search. Now this is a PSD file with 34 megabytes. You don't want to use this large file in your slide, but you are now able to choose a rendition of this file with low resolution and it works perfect. So I'm going to choose the JPEG for PowerPoint resolution, place the metadata content of the DAM and that's it. So let's duplicate this slide and use some content from a stock provider. In this example, I use Getty Images, do a full text search and place the content. Drag and drop the metadata fields from Getty Images Use the image and you're done. Let's go back to our product slide and see if there are any changes regarding pricing. Tap the refresh button and check the metadata field. And if there is a change, just replace the content. That's how it works. Okay, so I'm going to finish the title and I'm going to upload or save the deck to my source system and in this case it's Dropbox. I'm going to tap the little plus button, type a new file name and we're done. The presentation is now stored in Dropbox and available to your team. Now let's see how it works in Microsoft Word. I'm going to open a Word doc with the CI Hub add-in. 
and I'm going to switch to page two. And I'm going to add some content in the same way I did in PowerPoint. Placing the metadata content and placing images. Just select the target frame, select the product and move the content to the stage. The formatting works perfect even if you're in a single frame with two separate formattings, it works as you can see here. Now I'm going to add some images. Place them in the layout. And of course I'm able to use renditions so that the file size will be quite small and reduced to the minimum. So layout's fine, we're ready to go. And as we did with the PowerPoint deck, we can also upload the file to the source system or create a version of this file. Now let's see how it works in Excel. Open the panel. And as you can see, I'm not connected to any system, so I am going to use the load profile feature to connect to my preferred systems with just one click. I'm going to open the Excel file and I will drop in some content. Let's use the products again. So I don't need the original images. They are too big for my Excel sheet and therefore I'm using a rendition. And I would say let's use the 640 JPEG rendition. That should be enough. And here we go. It's the same way to add the content. Just select the cell, move the metadata fields towards the sheet. And that's it. The formatting works perfect. And when I'm done, I can save the Excel sheet with a new file name into the cloud storage. But it's also possible to create a new version of the existing file that's not overriding, that's versioning. You can always jump back to former versions within one document. So I'm going to drop some more content into my Excel sheet. Just to have it finished. Here we go. Now we're done. And now I will add the document to the source system. Type a new file name. And we're ready to go. And finally, let's take a look at Outlook. I would like to send an image, but I don't want to send the 34 megabyte Photoshop file via email. So I'm going to use a rendition. Now there are two options. I can create an attachment or I can place the image into the mail itself. So this file is attached and as you can see the rendition has only 200 kilobytes and in addition I will place the image and the metadata content into my email. That's how it works. Place the cursor, select place, drag and drop your content. Let's send it out and see the result. Looks good. And the attachment as low-risk file works perfect. I really love this in-app connectivity. So that's it for today. You can download a fully featured 30-day trial version from our website. And if you have any questions, shoot me an email 
or visit our website cir.com. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.